Hi there, beautiful Cancer Leo. Welcome into your reading. So today we're going to be talking about career. I already pre-shuffled here a few cards here for you. Uh, and let's have a look into what is going on over here in your career. And what do you need to know? We have healing. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. Oh. We also have wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. And finally, we have Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? This is really beautiful. I feel like... There is a dream of yours that I feel like you have no idea how much potential that has. Especially because bottom of the deck, we have abundance. Freaking abundance. Uh, I feel like this is something that maybe you've been hesitant about... I, I don't know. There's something that I feel like what I'm getting is that this could be a dream that it's almost like a hobby. This is something that I feel like you love. I feel like it's something that you're truly passionate about. It's something that you really want to invest your time and effort into. But a part of you, I feel like doesn't believe that you can make this a career, that you can make like monetize it, that you can do something meaningful out of it. And the thing is, I feel like this hobby heals you a lot uh it's for example for me i'm gonna give you an example uh for me writing heals me so much i really love writing books if enough i don't publish them but i love writing books and uh you know just writing about stories that mean something to me with different characters and their healing process heals me in turn so and, and sometimes i heal things in characters that is healing me that i, I didn't even know that i needed to heal and I feel like this is something similar. I feel like this is something that heals you, something that brings you confidence, something that brings you light and power. I feel like you feel I feel like you feel something with this. Now the thing here is the abundance potential for this dream, crazy, absolutely crazy. The healing potential for others in this, freaking crazy. I really feel like through this, you can heal so many people. Through this, you can make big, big impact on the world. And you can have a lot of abundance coming from this because it has a good, high vibe, positive energy. So there is this feeling of right now. Yeah, I look at that. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. I feel like right now, your guides are asking you when it comes to your career, please look into that. How can you, with this, how can you mother yourself? I'm getting this has... How can you allow yourself to do this? How can you bring a little bit more of this energy into your life? So it's almost like, uh, let's take the book example. It's almost like write a sentence every single day. It, it doesn't have to be more. Write 10 minutes, whatever you decide. But try to create this a habit, a routine. Take the practical steps towards making your dreams come true. Every single day, try to... Give a little bit of yourself to this. And this is certainly going to give something back to you. Okay, maybe not immediately. Maybe it brings healing immediately, but not abundance. But in the long run, it is going to bring you abundance, right? So I really feel like you can manifest something great out of this. But it does need some sort of step coming from you. Some sort of commitment, some sort of discipline. Some sort of, hey, I'm here and we're going to make this true. We're going to make this happen, Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting. But let's pull here some cards. We have the Eight of Cups over here, bottom of his deck. Uh, two of Wands, the Empress, and we have Temperance. Ah, this is beautiful. Let's actually, the, this Temperance card is the potential outcome. Uh, and I want to start by talking about that. Because potential outcome is healing. And again, it's what we were saying. I feel like it heals you and it heals the world. This is this is something absolutely gorgeous, really really powerful, really crazy, um, crazy potential. I feel like it brings you peace, and I feel like in a way, uh, it's almost like it may not bring peace to the world, but it brings awareness, something like that. I don't know. I'm kind of getting this has something creative, so it's almost like your, uh, and we're getting here books as well. I'm getting this has like painting. I'm also hearing podcasts. Uh, but painting, writing books, uh, any, anything creative I'm getting. And if it is not creative, 
I mean, don't stress it. Maybe this is not your reading if it's not resonating, but uh, there's creativity in everything that you do. So, yeah. But this is feeling like something creative, something you birth, right? Something you create. And I feel like that has a voice. Even if it's a painting, it has a voice that can change the world. I'm also hearing photography. It doesn't matter what it is, but I mean, your advice is to really birth it. Your advice is to create it, is to make it happen. Even if there's not this uh, intention at first of, oh, I'm going to make a million dollars out of this and I'm going to monetize it. I'm going to be great. And this is going to be, this is going to make me really successful. Don't make that your intention. Make your intention has, okay, I really want to birth this because this is part of myself. This is something that my heart Right, Your, my heart's desire is leading me there, and it's begging me to do this. And I feel like right now, uh, overall energy is this Eight of Cups with a page uh, of Wands, page of Pentacles. I feel like you are learning. I feel like you are discovering a new part of yourself, and maybe it's this whole thing. I feel like you are walking towards your spiritual path, your ideal life purpose, and all those things. What are you really meant to do? Um, and I feel like you are perhaps overthinking thinking too much on things planning too much like i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna do that and this is the progression of things go with the flow take this as a hobby that you do consistently like a daily hobby take it as something that alleviates you you know that that takes the stress out brings you inner peace take this in that way not in a way that i'm gonna be a millionaire out of this Take this in a way of this brings me peace, this brings me joy, and that's all that matters. Because right now, you, this, this two of ones is is the block, is the overthinking. And I feel like you may be overlooking a little bit the intuition. Uh, you may be trying to be perfect to follow the book, right? To do everything right, as everyone says. Sometimes you, you, you're not supposed to do things right. Sometimes you're supposed to be different, to mess up. So try not to follow everything by the book. Try to follow your intuition and to just be yourself. Okay? That's why I'm saying that it's... I feel like it's not so much about... Take this as a career. Take this as a hobby. Has a daily hobby that you love and that brings you peace. I feel like that brings more meaning into what you do. And it brings more direction, perhaps. Okay? But I feel like there's something for you to discover here. And I feel like the potential for this, absolutely crazy. It's out of this world. Is there, no. Look at that. Your wishes are coming true. And as I say that your potential here is crazy and out of this world, yes, this is real. So, yeah. I'm speaking the truth out here. Uh, the situation is not what it seems. And then we have grounding. So there you go. This is not about the abundance, even though you are going to receive it uh has a consequence but it's not because of that okay and i really feel like you may be looking at this has oh, but it's just a hobby it's just a passion of mine that is the best thing that you can do is using your passion okay so the situation is not what it seems you may think that it's useless that it's not going to lead anywhere it's going to lead very far okay and then please ground yourself do things out of your heart's desire out of pure intention out of love and the rest will follow, okay? The rest will follow. So, my Cancer Leo, this is what I have for you. I really hope this resonated and helped. If it did, don't forget to smash that like button for me and to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here uh, on the Cusk community if you're interested in checking out weekly messages for you. Uh, the link is going to be down below for my Patreon. We have that and a lot more other readings, so definitely go check it out. But, if you're interested in diving deeper into this, the link for Power Rings is going to be down below. And uh, you can also check out my merch, all right? So, thank you so much for being here. I love you very much. I wish you the best, and hopefully we'll talk very, very soon. Bye-bye.